Hey there, quirky folks. Today I'm going to take a deep dive into the past year and its MCU shows. I'd particularly be talking about the big questions that were left for the future projects to be answered. We were left with several big mysteries which may be solved sooner or later, but I'm going to mention six questions that bothered me the most. So first up, I'm going to talk about WandaVision. Is Wanda going to turn bad? In the final moments of WandaVision, we saw Wanda reading the Darkhold, and there was a sinister Doctor Strange music playing in the background right before she heard her children. So it was a clear tease that Wanda will try to find her children when she returns in Doctor Strange 2. and the sinister theme also hinted that she'd become a villain. But the trailer of Doctor Strange 2 confused many, as Wanda looked fine when Strange asked her for help. And ultimately, he was facing off against an evil variant of himself. So is Wanda the villain, or is it the Dark Doctor Strange? Well, I certainly believe that the Dark Doctor Strange bit was just a ploy to manipulate us. The real villain is still Wanda, and she may have even unleashed the evil Doctor Strange. Next question, where did White Vision go? After Hayward wiped White Vision's memories, Westview's vision used the ship of Theosis paradox to make White Vision realize that he was indeed the true vision. I am Vision. Now we're excited to see where he will be making his return. But where did he go? And when can we expect to see him? Will he be back in Doctor Strange 2 or Armor Wars? Or do we have to wait until a second season of WandaVision gets greenlit? I guess only time will tell. Question 3. Who was Jimmy Woo's witness? Monica Rambeau was roped into Westview because the FBI needed Sword's assistance with a mystery witness. Jimmy Woo had a Westview citizen in the witness protection program. We all thought that it would be Ralph. But it turned out that Ralph was an actor. But as it is known, witnesses aren't allowed to be in the limelight for their own protection. So, the show didn't actually solve the mystery of the witness. I guess we'll get to the answer of this question whenever Jimmy Woo returns. Maybe in Ant-Man 3? Let's just wait for 2023. This is the year that could also answer what happened with Ravona and Kang. In the epic finale of Loki, we were all left asking two major questions. Number one, where did Ravona go? Number two, how did Kang conquer the TVA? I've mixed these questions in one point because they are linked. In the end, he who remains asked Miss Minutes to give Ravona a specific file. This isn't what I asked for. I know, but he thinks this will be more useful. Who? Happy reading! She clearly didn't know he who remains. And the new file she got probably had all the information about what he who remains did. This file also told her what would happen when he would die. So, Renslayer was his contingency. After reading that file, she understood that TVA was a necessary lie. So she just got up and left to we know not where. Where are you gonna go? In search of free will. But maybe we do. You see, soon after Ravona left, the threshold moment had passed at the Citadel of He Who Remains. We heard a thunderous clap and new branches began to be created. One of these new branches could very well be Renslayer, and I believe that she was sent to meet a past variant of He Who Remains. Kang and Ravona were romantically involved in the comics, and that's probably what came true after Ravona left. She was sent to meet a younger Kang, who had the will to conquer. While Sylvie and Loki fought after the threshold, Renslayer was helping a new Kang take over the TVA. It is possible that someone led the new Kang to the TVA, and that someone could be Renslayer. She and Kang are romantically linked in the comics. And in the MCU, their love story could have begun after she stepped out of the TVA. So, she would have told a Kang variant, or perhaps the past version of He Who Remains, about what his future variant did. See you soon. <laughs> and she brought him to the TVA to reset everything. 
as a result, Kang conquered the TVA. Hopefully we'll get to see this in Loki season two. Question four, is Steve really on the moon? In The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Joaquin Torres said that there are some theorists who believe that Steve is on the moon. Some people, some people, they think that he's in the secret base on the moon, looking down over us. Even a GRC security member thought of the moon theory to be true. I'm sorry, wait, who are you? Captain America. I thought Captain America was on the moon. Sam Wilson has practically denied this theory, but what if he lied? What if old Steve is actually on a secret base on the moon? He had a to-do list written in his notebook after he came out of ice. And on that list, there was a point that simply said, moon landing. We presumed that it was about Steve watching Neil Armstrong's moon landing of 1969. But it could have actually meant that he wanted to land on the moon himself. He did go to the garden in 2018, but never went to the moon. So now, he might have ticked that box on his checklist. Sam and Bucky specifically said that Steve was gone. They didn't say dead. So, Steve could be watching over Earth from the moon. He could be running a base on the moon while Fury looks over one from space. Maybe Captain America 4 could give us a clear answer to his whereabouts. Will Kingpin return? At the end of Hawkeye, Kingpin was shot off screen and a point blank shot to his face would have meant that he died. But this is the MCU and crazier things have happened here. So we certainly don't believe he is dead. And besides, there's a very popular comic book precedence for his survival. Hawkeye recreates several amazing moments from the comics. And one of those turned out to be Maya pointing a gun at Kingpin. This got Maya's father killed in the books and then adopted her and turned her into a weapon. He has done something similar in the MCU by manipulating Ronan into killing Maya's father. And just like the comics, Maya confronted him towards the end of the Hawkeye finale. We didn't think that this comic book moment would come until the Echo series, but it did. His last dialogue was, Sometimes family doesn't see eye to eye. So it's likely that Maya shot him right in the eye, and he'll literally return blinded by revenge because that's what happened in the books. He was shot in the face, but was revealed to have lost his vision. So Kingpin could be the main antagonist of the upcoming Echo series. Okay, that's all from us. You guys should also tell us which questions troubled you so we could try and answer them in the comments. Hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to check out some more fun content on our channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye